Alright, this is my unboxing of the Savada Finnish Defense Force sleeping pad. Okay, so once I open the box, this is a plain old box. It had some various uh, like um, tape on the side. Look at that with their logo, their name. I used to, I was recently getting these little bags they had, like these cardboard bags. No, well, they're cardboard colored. Like, was it like a paper bag? Yeah. But here we go. And I didn't realize that this sleeping pad was a Savada brand. But uh, if I'm gathering is that Savada makes a lot of the Finnish Defense Force uh, stuff. I guess they're like a contractor. So this is the way it comes. I already opened it recently and I thought it looked so neat that I had to record it. Um, I thought it was going to be Army Surplus. But it looks like it's... Well, actually, I don't know. Is this a cover? No, it looks like it's... It looks like it is not used. So I guess it's uh, brand new. And I thought it was going to be very thick. But let me show you this. Now, if you don't know about this sleeping pad, it's an actual pad. No air. No air. It just... But actually, I thought I read it was supposed to be like super thick. So maybe... I thought it was thicker than this, but I open it up and see. Let me see what this text says. Now, I like how it's already wrapped up pretty good. Finished defense force sleeping pad. Warranty five years. Savada. Oh, it opens. Let me see. So finish. The FDF is the finished defense force. Oh, we got some stuff here. All right, I got a warranty. And I have this. Made to endure since 1955. Oh, it's for the, like a thing for the whole company, like a statement. All right, so I'm open this up and I'll come back. Or uh, here we go. I unwrapped some of it. Um, I heard this was the rubber side. It feels like it feels like a suede. Really, here's a tag here. Uh, now, what's special about this about the sleeping pad? I probably can't get it on camera. Maybe I'll show it in my next camp out. Um, let me see. Finish defense for a sleeping pad. There we go. Made in Estonia. Okay, so one side is just, well, let me start with the wings. There's like these, why well, call them wings? Uh, there's these flaps on the side. It's almost like tarp material on the ends. Okay. I got a mess in my house right now. I was cleaning up. So almost didn't want to tape this, but I, when I saw this in the box, I thought that was too neat to pass up. Okay, so this is attached to the side. That way you have something to like, step on or something or you won't get wet um like right up on the pad or something so now i heard there's a controversy people sometimes they say they sleep on this side and another one i saw they said they sleep on this side now what i heard was that the finnish defense force actually made them turn like contract this to like a rubber I don't understand. I, I kept reading those rubber, and this feels like a suede. But it's supposed to be like this, so it doesn't... Uh, so your sleeping bag doesn't slip. Okay. So, that's a good thickness. Let me see. What is that? Good almost inch? It's at least a half inch. But it's a, it's a full-on pad. Okay. This is like a nylon, pretty this thick. It's thick. The straps to hold it down while it's rolled up are attached. And like I said, there's flaps on each side. Uh, you probably can't see it too well right here. I'm gonna go ahead and, but this is basically what it was rolled up to. We unrolled it, there's the rest of the roll over there. Um, here we go. All right, I look back at the specs, and it's a 0.47 inch thick. 
enclosed foam padding, I think I said was. And I kind of like the scrum right here. You can actually see in there the actual foam. Now, first I was thinking, wait, this is not just the same as those old GI foam pads, right? But I think this is thicker or at least a spongier, maybe. Okay, we can see it's not... So you can see the foam pad in there. Now, you cannot remove this. I was looking at the specifications on the on Vericelica site. Uh, they said they used to be able to remove that and you could put whatever you want in there. But uh, this one, and at first I was thinking, oh man, I just replaced, I wanted someone to replace my air mattress, not my sleeping pad. So I thought this was supposed to be like a super thick sleeping pad that you didn't need an air mattress for. Um, so I'm, at first I was standing a little disappointed thinking, oh, this is just, I mean, I already have those old GI sleeping pads from the United States Army Surplus, but, uh, this feels different. First of all, it's not always trying to curl up on you again. Um, it feels like it's maybe more absorbent. Well, at the same time, more spongier feel like i'm standing on it and i don't think i can feel the floor under it and then you have that like a ground cloth around it sewn all the way around and then i have a mess right now on the house i'm cleaning up so i don't have it and i feel way to open it all up but you can see it goes out like that so it's like a ground cloth um kind of goes around your sleeping pad the foam stops right here okay some people like to flip it the other way and sleep on it. I'm thinking like, it was pretty comfortable I laid on it. Uh, I didn't lay on this side. Um, I laid on this side. And it's good. Like I said, this is just a, this feel, I think it might be rubberized. That's what it says on the item description on Vericelica. Like a rubberized polyester or something, but it just feels like a velvet. Like a, not velvet, it was a suede. It feels like a suede. Okay. And I guess this hole here is grommet is serving purpose to make sure like I guess this gets aired out if it ever gets wet. But you can see how thick it is again in there. Let me see. Let's see if you guys can see that. Goes right there to right there. And it's almost half an inch. Okay, I'm not sure how much the USGI ones are, but it also feels like it's a different kind of foam. Um, now, it was pretty good, I think, um, I mean, when I saw that the old ones used to be able to be removable and you could put whatever you want inside, that did sound kind of interesting, but these new ones can't. You'd have to sew it up, uh, unsew it and sew it up, but, um, I'm looking forward to trying this one out in the field. Uh, I wanted to replace my air mattress really maybe you could replace both since it's kind of a sleeping pad air mattress um i've been sleeping in a lot of places where the ground's pretty rocky and uh maybe this will do it